um, you know, look, guys, this is this is the new normal when and it and, it, and hopefully it's not going to be normal forever. But but the only thing that I, I, I can tell you that is constant is change. And and if you've been in the in the mortgage business long enough, you've seen these changes happen time and time again. I, mean, I can't do the show hands thing here or whatever. But how many people have been you know, in the business, you know, more than five years, you know, more than 10 years, more than 15 years. And, and some of you certainly, um, you know, watching right now have, have been around to see, um, you know, uh, the last recession that we had, you know, uh, we call it the great recession for those of us who, who lived through that, uh, you know, and small kind of hat tip to the great depression, but certainly not as bad as the great depression. And we don't ever want to even want to take away from that, but certainly the recession of 08, 09 was, was pretty rough. And, um, just so you know, I also have a, you know, here I am the leadership instructor and chief of staff for Echelon Front. Um, Jocko Willink was my task unit commander in the Battle of Ramadi. I served uh, several tours to Iraq. Um, and, you know, my time in the SEAL teams was, um, was incredibly rewarding. It was a job that I'd always wanted to do my whole life. I, I got to actually go overseas and see the kind of combat that I always hoped to. But most importantly, through those experiences overseas, working with you know, elite forces, um, not just in the Navy, but across all branches, the Army, the Marine Corps, and the Air Force, um, we really began to see kind of what kinds of character traits, either in individuals and among teams, especially, and certainly in leadership, that creates winning teams. What are those common core values, those processes, those systems, those ways of leading that are, that are similar among the best teams and the best leaders that we've ever worked with or worked for? And it was really out of the experience in the Battle of Ramadi, um, where Jack, Jocko was my task unit commander and, and Leif Babin, who's a co-author of the book, Extreme Ownership and the co-founder of Echelon Front. Um, after that deployment, Leif and Jocko got, got together, wrote this book and, and created the company that was, that was uh, now a leadership company that's focused on helping teams and companies take ground in their battlefield, whatever type of business that is, and learn from the lessons that we learn and that other teams have learned um, in business and in, and in combat. And so that's kind of the whole premise between, you know, echelon front and, and the leadership lessons that, that we've learned um, in, in combat and in business and codified into the book, Extreme Ownership. Now, normally, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I would have been out there in Las Vegas with you guys and uh, we would have had an in-person um, sort of keynote presentation where I've gone a little bit deeper into some of the laws of combat. And obviously all that stuff has changed now. And, you know, we are working with lots of companies right now. We, so just to, you know, things change. I started to say that the only thing constant is change. And, and where I started to go with all that was that, you know, the mortgage business, if you were in the mortgage business in, in 07, 08, 09, you saw nothing but change. And just so you know, that's when I got into the mortgage business. I got off active duty in 2007 and I went right into the mortgage business. And I did loans. I've been doing loans ever since then. And it was just a little over a year ago that I actually joined Echelon Front as a leadership instructor and the chief of staff. So for those of you guys who are sitting there, um, you know, wonder what's Andrew Paul doing here? Well, now I, I, I work as a leadership instructor teaching these, what we call our laws of combat, um, which you can read more about in the book, Extreme Ownership, which I highly recommend that you pick up. I mean, that should basically be um, like a battlefield manual for how you can take ground and win like right now. Um, but the cornerstone of the leadership principles that we teach are the four laws of combat. And those laws of combat are cover and move, simple, decentralized command, and prioritize and execute. And I go in more detail into those and some hands-on examples and a keynote presentation, um, which unfortunately we didn't get to do uh, in Las Vegas. It's a lot more fun in person, but we're adapting. Nick's doing a great job here with Legion of Loan Officers, bringing you guys all together um, in a virtual online platform. That's what we've got to do. And, and so, by the way, guess what Echelon Front has done? We, we've had to do the same thing we've had to adapt and we've had to change the, our ability to reach our customers. You know, for a long time at Echelon Front, I'm gonna share sort of an inside, you know, kind of behind the, the scenes look. You know, what we did was keynotes, uh, presentations and, and workshops for leaders at, at all kinds of different companies. We thought, well, that's what we do. That's what, and, and that's what we did. And, and through this change, you know, just so you know, you know, Legion of Loan Officers that, that I was gonna come present at, was, was one of, of more than 40 events that were canceled or postponed. Um, some were canceled, never to come back. Some were postponed and some were not sure yet because people don't know what they're gonna do. Um, we had to shift. We had to kind of ask ourselves, what is it that we really do here? And, and, and what's our mission? Our, our, we feel like our, our mission, what we do here is, is, is impact people and leaders so that they can 
lead their teams, lead their companies, lead their families to the next level of success and lead them through the challenges that inevitably all businesses, all families, all teams face. Now, again, this is mostly a mortgage crowd, but we know we work with companies in oil and gas and manufacturing and biotech, every business that you could imagine. Um, and leadership challenges are fundamentally the same. The reason why they're fundamentally the same is because we have people in our organizations and people have been fundamentally the same for 5,000 years. And so this, this leadership is, is the consistent thing that separates winning teams from losing teams. Um, certainly there can be some luck, there can be some timing, um, but right now in this changing market, it's changing for everybody. And the teams that can adapt quickly to this changing environment find the new opportunities are the ones who are going to come out ahead.